In this uh, lecture, we're going to look at ternary graphs. And uh, ternary graphs are used to uh, plot data on three axes. Instead of an x, y axis, we're going to look at an x, y, and z axis. Ternary graphs are usually used to uh, show percentages of three components. Uh, we're going to look at this graph, especially when we start looking at uh, all different uh, percentages of minerals and rocks. Uh, you know, it's kind of an interesting graph to uh, use, and uh, yeah, it's a good skill to have to learn how to read one of these graphs. Here's an actual ternary graph, and now uh, let's look at the, uh, the three scales on here. Notice the A scale is on the right side of the triangle and it runs from the lower right up to the uh, apex or where the A is. Uh, it goes from 0 to 100 and on the A scale the percentages read horizontal to the bottom of the uh, of the triangle. So if you look on the right side where it says A scale 0 would be at the uh, base of the triangle increasing as you reach the apex of the triangle where A is and then that would be 100% right at the apex of the triangle. Uh, the B scale is on the uh, left hand side of the triangle and notice the B scale uh, increases as you uh, move down the left hand side of the triangle. And the uh, B scale values go from I guess you could say the upper left to the lower right. So the B scale goes from 0 and it increases as you move down the left hand side of the triangle and then on the left hand apex there where it says B that is where a hundred percent B would be. Yeah, C scale runs along the bottom and uh, the C scale I guess you could say goes from the the lower left to the upper right with the zero value for the C scale right at the B apex and it increases as you move from left to right. These kind of look kind of difficult, but the uh, once you kind of get the hang of them, they're they're really pretty easy to uh, to use and to read. And we'll be looking at some examples here. Here's another look at the A scale. I put some arrows in there uh, to show you the uh, how you would read one of these on the A scale. Uh, the bottom arrow is at the 20 percent. And you can see it goes across on the horizontal to the uh, base of the triangle. The second arrow well, is approximately 55% A. So the bottom arrow would be 20% A, and then the second arrow or the top arrow would be 55% A. This next slide is the uh, B scale, and the uh, the longer arrow. So it reads about 25% B, and the, uh, the shorter arrow reads about 55% E. And again, you can see the B scale goes from like upper left to the lower right. This one's looking at the, uh, this slide's looking at the uh, C scale, and the uh, longer arrow reads about 25% C and the shorter arrow approximately 55 percent C. And as you can see from those arrows, the C scale, uh, if you look at orientation, goes from the lower left to the upper right. And uh, the next couple of slides will look at how we would read all three of these together. Here we're going to read point one, and uh, point one is the intersection point of all three of the arrows. Uh, point one would be read as such 60% A, 20% B, and 20% C. Here we're looking at point number two and point number two on this graph would be read as 20, approximately 25% A, 40% B, and 35% C. Here we're looking at reading point number three, and point number three has 10% A, 70% B, and 20% C.
here we're looking at point number four and point number four has a a value of zero percent a b value of approximately 25 percent and then on the uh, c value you're looking at approximately 75 percent Here we have an actual graph with the uh, percent of chromium on the right hand side, uh, the percent of iron on the left, and the percent of nickel on the bottom. Uh, one thing to always make sure when you read the graph that the uh, percentages uh, know which way uh, they are increasing or decreasing. Unfortunately, not all of ternary graphs run the increasing and decreasing in the same direction as we talked about. But for our work that we're going to use in this class, uh, what we covered in this uh, lecture will work just fine.